Hi, this is Carrie with Learn DaVinci Resolve. And Carrie with Learn DaVinci Resolve. And today we're going to show you a technique for cloning somebody. And what we're going to do is just go into the edit page and overlay both sets of video and then crop one side and hopefully we get a good effect. So stay right there. We'll be right back. All right, we are in DaVinci Resolve and kind of ready to get this project started. I have two pieces of video here, one with me sitting on the right side of the couch reading a book and the other with me on the left side of the couch talking to the camera. So this effect is going to be pretty easy to accomplish here. We're going to take our footage here of me on the one side there and I'm going to take the footage of me on the other side. Oh, we got these tracks. Too many tracks going on today. There we go. And there was one spot where uh, I kind of turn and look right there. So I kind of want that to be at the end. So I'm just going to trim up some of this, get this stuff to match up on the end there. And it did record audio, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And I'll move this up there. All right, so this is what we've got. We got me on the left side, me on the right side, and we need to kind of split them up a little bit. So to do this, I'm gonna pull this one off to the side so we can see what's gonna happen here. and. I'm going to go into my cropping tool and sometimes, especially in 16, if you don't see the settings, you just see it here, just double click on it and that'll open it up. So we're going to do a crop from the left and we're going to just kind of split this uh, screen a bit and then drag that back over. Now, what was interesting while I was shooting this is I didn't realize that the light I was using was running low on battery. And so the lighting is a little different between these two. And it kind of shows. So we need to try and fix that up a little bit. And one way we can do that is the softening tool. Now also notice where this pillow is. Of course, because I'm sitting on two sides, it did shift things. And if I'm too far over, it's really going to look odd. If I'm too far over to the left, I'm actually going over the left, that pillow is kind of out of sync. So I'm going to find a spot where things look the best right there. Now you can still see the line. You can see it in the drapes behind on the pillow and on the cushion. But if we take the softening and move that up, we can blend those two right together. That's move this over so we can see what this actually does. So you can see the softening of the line here and we can really fine tune that to figure out exactly kind of the look that we want. So now if I uh, just kind of tweak it a little bit more and maybe pull that crop in a little bit, we can probably find a really safe spot that you're not gonna be able to tell the difference. And if we scrub through this, we can actually see, especially on the left here, you can see this light change quite a bit. But because, uh, because we did that softening, it blends those two together pretty well to where it's not really noticeable. So if the lighting was very good, it, we wouldn't have had to do that. And if we were on something that didn't give as much of the couch, we might not have to increase that softening to get things to match. So those are the tools to make this happen. It's a very simple technique and it can be used very effectively in a number of different types of shots if you're trying to make it seem like there's twins or some special effect, whatever you're trying to do. Uh, or if people are in costume, you can make them, uh, or you don't have enough staff or crew, you can add them in later sometime. So uh, someone asked how to do this, so I figured I would throw a quick video together just to show that it's actually pretty simple to do. 
So thanks for watching everybody. This has been Kerry with Learn DaVinci Resolve. If you like these kind of videos, hit subscribe and click that thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.